Eric von Daniken's ET extraterrestrial assertions gained credibility over time. Evidence of the true identities of the old quote-unquote gods. Even the ancient Greeks said that the gods of Olympus were extraterrestrial Atlanteans. When Chariots of the Gods was published in 1968, author Eric von Daniken's assertions regarding extraterrestrial contact dating back to Earth's infancy were greeted with disdain. My ideas were attacked from all sides, especially from the scientific community, he said. They thought the suggestion of extraterrestrials was nonsense, said Eric von Daniken. Von Daniken's basic premise says extraterrestrials came to Earth and studied our Stone Age ancestors to learn about their lives, learn languages and give advice. These creatures then left the planet, but they promised prehistoric man that they would return. And this goes again with the Native American legends of the uh, Paiutes and the Cherokees, uh, that they, they called these uh, friends from the skies the Anu. Doesn't that sound like Anunnaki? Now, men's primitive means and lack of technology led them to believe that these alien life forms were gods. These gods entered into mythology and religion with the assumption that the gods would someday return. Since first publishing Chariot of the Gods, Von Daniken has written 32 books and with each one tried to better prove his case. Von Daniken says, I believe the world's attitude towards extraterrestrials has changed. In the meantime, many other authors and scientists have published their own books with the same conclusions to support this idea. I myself have become older and wiser, and now it's very much accepted, he said. Von Daniken will be a panelist at Contact in the Desert, conference committed to a series, serious academic look at the UFO phenomena and how it was has impacted the human race. The events at Joshua Tree Retreat Center offering a series of lectures, panels, and workshops to the public to explore scientific approach to the mythology of ancient aliens. Von Daniken joined colleagues in search of truth, taking part in discussions based upon factual evidence, historical research, and new findings. He says, is to share a mixture of all knowledge and continue to use new technology trends. For example, he used computer animation showing a model interpretation of a spacecraft based upon the biblical prophet Ezekiel's vision of a chariot emerging from the clouds. He also draws upon recent scientific findings, such as the discovery of a sea under the Great Pyramid of Giza. Von Daniken says the great philosopher, the ancient Greek Herodotus, first wrote about this sea, and contemporaries could not fathom the existence of a sea under the desert. Modern scientists have since uncovered a sea under this pyramid, and von Daniken has visited uh, this pyramid himself. As scientists' exploration, as scientific exploration continued to increase knowledge of the universe, von Daniken believes his theories can now be validated. He said, I love critical discussion. I often tell my audience, please do not believe this. Control it. Strong arguments cannot be denied anymore. Extraterrestrial existence is a fascinating concept. It's incredible and a mind opener, and these ideas could become a new branch of academia. Every science starts with a speculation, then a hypothesis, then you check if the idea is good or lousy to determine if it's nonsense. I think it is reasonable what I do, he said. This article originally published by Palm Springs Life by Michelle Rowe. It's on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.